there are a lot of products on the market that claim to be a one and done styler. Products that you can use, you put in your hair, they give you moisture, they give you definition, and they give you hold. So I wanted to test some of these out. Now this will be kind of a several part series where I talk about different products kind of in different categories. So this particular video, I will be talking about curl creams and specifically curl creams that come with a little bit of a higher budget. So all of these are over $20. And I'll just go through these. I'm going to talk about the application process. If you're using them on their own, how do they stack up? What do the results look like? Do they really stand up to what they're claiming? And also how long do the results last? Are they really giving you any hold? So for each of these products, I will be coming back on day two to update you to see if it holds up to its claim. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. If you like content about curly hair or healthy hair or wavy hair, please like and subscribe. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. The first thing I want to note here, and I want to get this out of the way right off the bat, is that I really tried my hardest to do the same routine for all of these. So I did the same wash routine with the same products. I used the Curlsmith Detox Kit with their primer, their wash and scrub, and the conditioner. And then I did actually do wash now style later routine for all three routines. So that is something I just wanted to know. And I did use the same styling routine for all three, which I will link up above and down below in the description box as well. The last thing I do want to mention is at the very end of this video, I will do kind of like side by side of all three of these, just one after another, a 360. So you can see from front, from back, what these look like when they were done. That being said, let's move on to each individual product. The first product that I wanted to try out was actually the Curlsmith Feather Light Protein Cream. And this was actually the reason I decided to do this video. They're confident enough in the fact that this is gonna give you hold, they put a level on it. So it says level four out of 10. It claims on the front that it's going to define its style and it's going to give you a medium hold. Right off the bat, I do wanna point out that this has rice protein in it, hydrolyzed rice protein, it also has hydrolyzed hemp seed. So for these products, I was curious which actual ingredient is giving you the hold. Now in this, this actually has an ingredient called PVP. And I'll link any sources that I think you might need down below. But PVP is one of the stronger film forming ingredients that's actually going to give you a cast and it's gonna give you some structure to your hair. So right off the bat, I had pretty high hopes for this. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the actual styling process. The first thing I want to note is this does have a very strong scent. I like it because it's a nice fruity scent, but it is very powerful. Now working this through my hair, it didn't really have a ton of slip to it. When I was doing this wash down style layer routine, it was kind of hard to work through any knots in my hair. So if you're doing a wash now style layer routine, this may not be the best option. But that being said, it still worked into my hair nicely and actually almost too nicely. This is another thing I want to point out with this product. It vanished into my hair very easily. And I know I've had this issue in the past. It can be really easy to overdo. Now this time I got lucky and I don't think I overdid it. And then another thing I want to bring up with this product, I, I had hoped that by not layering a ton of products on top of each other, that maybe it would dry a little bit faster. That was not the case with this particular product. My dry time was about the same. Now let's move on to the actual results. The first thing I want to touch on here this did give me a cast. It wasn't as strong as most gel casts are. It wasn't going to make your hair like stick straight out like a lot of gels will, but I did have a layer of film over the top of my hair that I did have to break. That being said, it was very easy to break. All I had to do was smooth my hands over it and scrunch it out. Overall though, was I happy with the results? Well, I would say very much so. I didn't have a ton of frizz. The volume was pretty standard for what I was used to, which again was kind of a downer because I was hoping with one product it would help to give me a little bit more volume. Just because again, we're not layering as much, it's not getting as heavy. It did give me a lot of really good definition though, which I was definitely happy about. I really had some nice curl clumps and some good form. And overall, I was very happy with the way that it turned out. So what about day two? Did it last? So again, for all of these, I did my hair exactly the same while I slept it. I covered it and I protected it at night. And the next day I woke up and I pulled it out. And these were my results. Not too bad, right? I still had a decent amount of definition. Some of it had fallen out, but that's not really that abnormal for me, even with a gel. 
I tend to struggle to keep any hold in my hair, even with like a, a actual legitimate gel. So that wasn't a huge surprise. But the frizz was maybe a little bit more than the day before, but again, it still wasn't too bad. Uh, this scent is very strong on most of the Carl Smith products. They do have a new fragrance free line, so you could try that if the, if the scents bother you. But with this one specifically, I do notice it the day after. Now overall, what was my impression of this product? Would I do this? Would I suggest this? This particular one, I would say yes. I did not feel the need with this particular routine to even refresh it. I shook it out, I looked at it, I was happy with it, and I went. So I would definitely recommend giving this product a try if you were looking to try a one and done curl cream. Something that gives you some strength, gives you some moisture, but also gives you some hold. Moving on to the second product. So the second one that I went in with was the Trelux Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. And on this particular bottle, it claims that this is a souffle-like cream packed with premium natural oils and botanical extracts to nourish and protect while providing a soft hold. Talking about ingredients really quick, this does have keratin amino acids, so it does have those proteins. And then when I was looking for the actual ingredients that are supposed to give this the hold, the only ones I could really see were aloe vera and then maybe dihydroxanthem gum. From my research, what I saw was both aloe vera and xanthan gum are meant to be film forming humectants, which are supposed to help keep the moisture in your hair. And some of them will give you a light hold but not necessarily a long lasting hold. So again, right off the bat, they're really only claiming a soft hold. So what was the styling routine like? First off, the scent of this product is very nice. It's a very light, sweet scent that I really love. Working it through my hair, it would say it has a little bit more slip than the Feather Light Protein Cream, but not by a ton. Another thing I do want to mention on this particular product is that it does feel kind of kind of vanishes in your hair. A lot like the protein cream, it really just kind of melts into your hair and I feel like it would be really easy to overuse this product, especially if you have lower porosity hair like mine. So let's go ahead and look at the results now. Uh, the first thing I wanna to touch on, this did also give me a light cast. It was very easy to break. I just went in with my Carl Smith bonding oil, did some praying hand technique, scrunched, fluffed, and it was very easy to get rid of all of that cast. One thing that I do kind of want to note right off the bat here was I could tell at this point that I had used too much product. Uh, when I touched my hair, I could feel my hands coming away with the product still in their hand. So results might be kind of skewed because I did use a little bit too much product on my hair, uh, but I do still want to talk about them a little bit. It was a little frizzier than normal and the clumps the curl clumps were, were interesting. Typically I'm used to bigger clumps and bigger curls. And these kind of gave me smaller clumps with kind of tighter curls, which I thought was kind of interesting. So did it hold up? So I woke up and I pulled the bonnet out of my hair. And the first thing I noticed was that the feeling of that extra product in my hair was gone. So that either tells me that it over time absorbed into my hair slowly, or that it just rubbed off on my bonnet, so that's kind of hard to say. By day two, my hair was much frizzier. It was pretty much lacking in definition. I think there was a little bit of definition here and there in some spots, but most of it was kind of just gone. That was kind of a bummer for me, but I did want to check this and I did refresh it, and it did refresh very nicely. So that is something I've said in previous videos as well, is that if a product will still refresh in my hair and my hair will look nice after that refresh, then it's still worth giving it a shot. So overall on this product, I would say that maybe it's not my favorite so far out of the two. It didn't give me as much hold, it didn't give me as much definition, and I did have to refresh on day two. But it really kind of just depends on your preference. If you really like those soft curls, this could be a good product. Now the other thing to keep in mind too though is this might just be my specific hair type. You could definitely give this a try if you have a different hair type than mine. If you have found that aloe vera works really well to give your hair hold in the past, then this would work really well for you. It just didn't work as a one and done cream for me. The last product that I want to talk about is one that I actually haven't used on my channel before. So if you want to see a full video review of this, let me know down in the description box below. I can definitely do that. But this product is the AG Recoil Curl Activator. 
I actually hadn't used this one in the past, so I was really curious to see how this worked on my hair. Now, uh, first off, I do want to note that the terminology is curl activator instead of curl cream. Before this video, I kind of put them both in the same pot. I assumed that they were the same thing. Um, but now I'm kind of starting to question that and I'll get into that as I move through this video. That being said, let's talk about the claims really quick. So on the back, they're saying that nothing defines, maintains, and moisturizes curls like this product and that it separates and holds without stiffness or stickiness, even in high humidity. When looking through the ingredients, again, we do have those proteins. This has three. This has keratin amino acid, silk amino acid, and hydrolyzed keratin. When looking at the rest of the ingredients, this does also have nettle extract and panthenol. Both of those, again, like the aloe vera, are form-filming humectants. So gonna give you just a little bit of an extra boost to your hold but probably aren't gonna give you a ton of holder on their own. So what's giving you the hold? Well, this product has two polyquats in it. It has polyquat 10 and polyquat 55. Polyquat 10 is probably what's giving it the most of that hold that they're claiming. The polyquat 55 might give you a little bit of a hold, but it's actually main purpose is as a heat protectant. So that is a big bonus of this product is, especially if you like to diffuse your hair with a little bit of heat, it's going to help protect your hair. Now, moving on to the actual styling with this product. The first thing that I do want to note is this was much runnier than the other two, but that being said, when I actually put it in my hair and worked it through my hair, it has amazing slip. This just worked really well to work through any minor tangles or knots that I did not get out of my hair, and it really just worked through my hair very easily. It has a very light scent that as soon as you put it in your hair is pretty much gone. The thing that I found very interesting about this particular product was that any extra product on my hair kind of just turned into like a foam, which was very interesting. But the nice thing about that was that meant when I micro popped my hair like I did in all of my routines, it really helped get all of that extra product out, which meant I didn't have too much in my hair. Moving on to the actual results. First thing of note, this did give me the strongest cast out of all of these. And it was part of what is making me wondering if, because I do actually have an, a few other curl activators that kind of are the same. They are lighter in consistency, but they have more ingredients in them that give them hold. So I might do another video and let me know if you want to see this, where I take those products that are all labeled curl activator and do the same thing where I compare them. Uh, that being said, actually results on this product after I scrunched it out, the cast was still pretty easy to get out just by using the praying hands technique and scrunching and fluffing and flipping. And then of course I used the same oil that I used on all of these, the Curl Smith bonding oil. It wasn't too bad to get that out of my hair. So the actual results, I was so happy with these results. It gave me really nice, big defined curls. It didn't give me much frizz at all. And the thing that made me happy was this actually gave me more volume than normal. So the dry time was still the same, which is still, again, kind of a bummer. The dry time on all of these was about the same. It didn't speed it up at all. I really just liked the day one results on these. So day two, how did it hold up? You tell me. These are actually my day two results here. And just walking through my process, again, like all of these, I followed the same nighttime routine. I put on my bonnet, I slept with my bonnet on, and then I pulled it off in the morning. All I did with this was fluff it. And you can still see an amazing amount of definition in my hair. It's a lot shinier than I would have expected. The shine is actually still really good. And overall, I'm just really happy with these results. Let me turn around really quick so you can see it from the back. So I was really happy with the results of this product, and when it comes down to it, I would recommend this as a one-and-done styler. Now, if you are the kind of person that you are using a one product in hopes of avoiding a gel cast, this would not be the product for you because it did give me a gel cast that was comparable to an actual gel. So that is something to keep in mind, but as a one-and-done styler, this did an amazing job, and I would definitely recommend it. All right, so what are my final thoughts on these products? Would I recommend these as a one-and-done styler? Now, each one is gonna depend on what your actual intention is for this. If your intention is to use something that doesn't give you much of a cast, you want something with a very soft look that's still gonna give you some hold, 
I would definitely recommend the Curl Smith Feather Light Protein Cream. This held up very well, but it didn't give me much of a cast at the beginning, and my day two results were still very defined and something that I was definitely very happy with. Now, if you are looking for something that's going to give you some good holds, maybe some gel cast, you're kind of just looking for something that's moisturizing, nourishing, definitely would recommend the AG Recoil. This was probably my favorite product out of all three of these products because I just am so, so in love with the results. I am really happy with the way this turned out on my hair. Now, as for the Trey Lux, I'm not saying that this is a bad product. It's not going to give you a ton of hold. And if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for something just very soft, this could still be a good option. I would still recommend this product. It's still very nourishing and moisturizing. I would just recommend it in the capacity that I used it in my previous video, which I'll link down below. But definitely give it a shot. So that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Have you used any of these products in this capacity? Which one is your favorite? And if you haven't used them in the past, will you try any of these products? I would like to know if you're curious about any of these. That being said, I do post a new video every Tuesday. So if you like content like this, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Hopefully, I will see you next time.